Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Python MongoDB. Today we are going to learn CRUD REST API using MongoDB Python Flask. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first of all, I will give you the demo. Then we will check the code level. So here you can see that first we have the import the Flask from the Flask request and the JSONify from the Flask. Then we are using the PyMongo. So make sure you have to install the PyMongo with this package that I have installed. So make sure you have to install this one. After this, B, Bison from import object ID. Okay, so here we are getting in. So initialize the Flask app and this is our MongoDB URL. Okay, connection string. Then PyMongo to connection part. Okay, so this will connect this with our database. Okay next first of all we are going to create the users while <coughs> mongodb that is create so here we are first of all going to create the users with the help of the route slash user and it's a post request so first we accept any kind of request that is the json so here we are going to request the json data to come and we'll check that the username and the email exist or not if exist then we will going to create insert one record into the database and print the message that the user created successfully okay and if something goes wrong it will show them the message that the missing username or the email field right so let's go and check this one so we have the create users post request let's make it the create users right so this is the body so here i'm going to use test and here also i'm going to add the test so send it this is created with the id 98 let's go to the records here you can see that the test and the test 90 and this is 98 right so record is created now i'm going to list the records with the help of get users and here you can see that we have all the list of the records currently whatever i have just added it come over here okay so the list one so here we have the next one read all the users so slash users and the method is get so mongodb.users.find will help you to give give you the records okay so first we will make the users list to be empty then we are going to just user id as a string convert object id to string and users list dot append the user and justify and return the user with the status code 200 okay if you return this one that will not going to it will give you the error that the type object id is not convertible or something okay so make sure you have to push all the data then return okay next we have to read a single user so this is a users and this is a string that is user id and the get request okay so we are going to find with the string that we are going to re passing from here so let's go and check this one so here we have the get request and here i need to pass the string okay with the users and let's retrieve the data and here you can see that the data which which i am adding it's coming over here okay so find one with the help of the object id user id and then if user is there then we are going to convert object id to the string and return that user if something goes wrong that user not found if let's see this one also if i put one also here but record not found you can see that error is there it's not a valid object id right let's suppose i will make it like eight of seven what will happen user not found right so make it like eight and you can see you will able to get the record okay then we are going to update our user okay here we need to pass this object id over here okay and we request the data in the json format and then user to update one with the object id and set whatever data we are trying to send so here we are going to make a put request and here we have a body i'm going to make it like text one two three and test here also this one let's try to send it and update it if i go to my mongodb and here you can see that the data is updated right so with the help of this you can update the data correctly okay the last one that is the delete one okay so users we require the string so on the behalf of the object id we are first we will check that result deleted count is greater than zero then we will make sure that the user deleted successfully else that the user not found with the status code 404 okay so let's go and delete that part okay make a delete request let's try to send this and user deleted if i go to the mongodb refresh this we have five records now we have four records okay 
So this is how we are successfully completed how to create the CRUD REST API using the MongoDB using Python and the Flask. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.